day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, we are going to start by creating a new 3D design. Friends, today we are going to make a spiral stair domino. The first thing I want to do is give you tons of room to play. Let's back this up and go 400 by 400. Friends, real quickly with these domino projects, I have created my own domino that I use again and again. If you have not seen that, I'll have a link up above to one of my first tutorials so you can make the domino and get cracking. All right, friends, to make this spiral work, we are going to make a cool little stand. I'm going to bring out a cube. I'm going to tell you to hold down shift and shrink it type size 5 and press enter. We're going to change its length to 15. I'm going to just stretch and type it. And then, friends, we're going to do Control-D. Take the second one. We're going to make it 5. And then we're going to change its height to 10 and press Enter. Now, it was kind of magical. It went to the exact spot we want. We'll leave it there and group it in a second. We do need to make a little platform out here on the front. We're going to do this with Control D, and I'm going to tell you that it needs to be 7. And if you click off and miss it, you can just hide that one for a second by 20 and press Enter. We are also going to change its height to 1. And now if we do Show All, we need to align those. But we're only going to align these two. L for Align, make this the boss. We do need it to come to the top and the middle. Friends, this is our awesome platform. Grab it and do Control G to group it. Friends, with that built, here comes the fun part. C for cruising. Grab one of those bottom handles and set it up on our little platform. I'm going to make sure my nudge is set to 1. Let's make sure we're lined up on the platform the way we want. I think that's going to be pretty darn awesome. Select them both. Switch back to that 5mm nudge. Do control D, do three nudges forward, do control up, and let's rotate 18 degrees. I like 18 because it goes into 360 degrees. Let go and do control D again and again, and your dominoes will go vertically up. Notice I'm going around and around and around until it matches the first shadow. Bingo! You have completed your cool staircase. Now we simply need to hide the white dominoes. I'm going to just select them like this. Touch a few, hide. Touch a few, hide. And hide. If you find the right angle, you can get more at once. You want to make sure you don't get the red, though. Because we're going to group this red one in just a second. And one last domino. And now, friends, we can take this cool stair we built and group it. I'm going to do show all to bring everything back. That is pretty darn sweet. All we need now is a starter. I'm going to do that with a wedge. I'm going to bring this out. I'm going to raise it up in the air because I want to hit the top of this domino. I'm going to stretch it with the black handle so it comes out close to that. Let's make sure it's lined up with those arrow keys. Once again, because of cruising, I can put a sphere right out on top of that. Easy peasy. And friends, we can try it out in SimLab. Once the geometry snaps into place, we need to make it static. I need this to be static as well. And friends, we can hit play. Spiral dominoes in minutes. Of course, friends, once it has completed, you can pause it and you can run it back and forth as many times as you want. When you are happy with what you created, don't forget you can also create a sweet video. Pick the layout that you want to play with, pick the format that you want it to come out as, and hit create video. When it's done, it'll ask you to save it, or it may save automatically. I always put mine in my downloads, and then you can easily share that video with all your friends. I'm going to quickly hit reset and back out to the main editor. Of course, friends, I hope you have a ton of fun with this and make it unbelievably cool. I do also want to remind you that you can share your creation with the world by clicking on this properties gear. 
of course start with a design name in this area you can give it a description of course mine is going to have a tutorial in just a bit don't forget friends you make my day if you take time to subscribe to me on youtube and you can always reach out via my website make sure you add some awesome tags and if you make something you want me to see make sure you type hlmt23 i check that daily and give people's projects reactions Finally, you need to set it public, and then I always choose attribution, no derivatives, because I want you to come up here, follow the tutorial, and gain some epic skills. Friends, here is a bonus. If you're in any of my projects and you click on HL Mod Tech, it'll show you all of my designs sorted by likes. Of course, if you click on them, you can give them a reaction and you will find a tutorial in the instructions. You can also switch over here to Recent and you'll be able to check out the latest things I have created. Don't forget, there's always a tutorial. Friends, as I wrap up, let me remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got the page dedicated to Tinkercad with a ton of awesome categories. And then right below it, the first day lessons. These are great for anybody that's just starting out in Tinkercad. Friends, I also want to highlight the super cool built-in messaging. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to highlight the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are more than 600 members and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.